hope you're doing okay. Now we would love you to wave back and to say good morning, Jane and Billy. You ready? One, two, three. Brilliant, thank you. Really, really good to be with you this morning. Now, we've done lots of assemblies. We've had lots of assemblies on generosity, haven't you? And this is another assembly on generosity. Now, I was wondering, since the last time that I talked to you, that I did assembly, have you got any examples of either where you've been generous or someone has been generous to you? So have a think, have you been generous to someone or has someone been generous to you? Now, do you know what? I do uh, a job with my brother half the week and we spend lots of time in woodlands with children having lots and lots of fun doing forest school. And I've got an example where we went with some children to this woodland uh, in Bristol and we had so much fun, but we had taken loads and loads of stuff and carried it in and at the end of the day, all of that stuff needed to be packed up and it was going to take quite a long time. It was going to take a lot of energy and it all needed to be carried back down to our car. And I was thinking, oh, I wonder if these children are going to be generous or not, or whether they're going to say, no, this is our time. We want choosing time and we don't want to pack up. But do you know what? When I said to them, please, would you help us? Would you help us tidy up everything and take it all the way down the hill? And they had to carry things. They had to be quite strong and go, yeah, okay, we're going to do it. And we're going to persevere and carry it all out and tidy the woodland up. Do you know what? They did it. They did such an amazing job. They're all a wonderful group of children who were really generous with their time to help and also generous with their muscles and with their arms carrying things. So it was a lot, a lot of work and they were very, very generous. So that's our example. Now I wonder if you've got any examples. So we're going to take a moment, we're going to press pause and then you can have a chat to the person next to you about maybe a story where you've been generous or where someone else has been generous to you. So, press pause, go for it. Great, hopefully you enjoyed that time of just sharing and listening to stories about generosity. Now, Billy, look, we've got Zap here. <laughs> saying good morning, Billy, and good morning, everybody. So, um, Zap, if you don't mind me asking, why are you covered in words. Let's have a look. He's got a word food on his head and skills. He's got some other words. He's got pets and things. Oh, like his um, sort of toys and clothes. And he's got money, friends and family down there. Oh, and I spotted time on the back. Oh, he says it's obvious. He said all of these things are things that he could be generous with and he could share with others. Oh, he says we've all got a choice whether we go all of this stuff is mine, mine, mine or whether we're generous with it. Mm, good point. Now do you know what Zap? We've got a great story. I, I wonder whether you wanted to stay with us a bit and, and listen to the story. Yeah okay well do you know what the teachers have got a link to it and it's a story from the old bit of the bible about a man called Nehemiah and he is really generous with his skills and with his time and he sees something amazing happen because of his generosity. Okay we're gonna press pause you're gonna watch the video and then we'll come back. Bye for now. I totally agree, Zach. That was a brilliant story of how people were so generous with their skills and with their time. And it meant that they did something that seemed impossible. They did something amazing. They rebuilt the wall all around the city and helped get it back to a really, really good looking city, didn't they? Amazing. Now imagine if they'd just gone, actually, my time and the skills that I've got is just mine, mine, mine. They wouldn't have been able to do it, would they? But they were generous. That's a really good point. It's like a story that I told Zap a long time ago, all right? Yeah, the story about the coal miners. So it's a story set in Kingswood. Yeah, you're totally right, Zap. Not far from here. And the coal miners... 
decided that they needed a church for the whole area. And so what they did was they decided that they would build it together and they'd give freely of their skills and their time and they'd build it together. And so they'd spend all day in the coal mine and then they'd come up out of the coal mine and they'd get the bricks and they'd build a little bit that day and a little bit more and a little bit more and they'd work together and then they'd go to sleep and then they'd go back down the coal mine and then they'd come up from the coal mine and they'd get some more bricks and they'd build and they'd build and they'd build and they'd build and day after day after day after day after day after day they worked together and eventually they built a church because they'd given freely they were generous with their time and with their skills amazing and uh yeah you're totally right zap that church was used for years and years and years and years but recently it got a bit tired you're right the story happened again loads of the local people a few years ago and the people who went to the church decided they'd do the same again they would give of their skills and their time and they'd build the church to, to be, you know, even more amazing than it ever was before. And so they built a new bit on the church and they built a cafe. Yeah, you love the cafe. It's called Croft's End Church. And they built the cafe and a cinema for the local people. And they've made it look incredible. And it was local people who gave of their time. They gave because they were like carpenters and they were plumbers and electricians and people who came in and painted. And they did it all for free. And they've made that church into a new, new, amazing church. So the coal miners did the first one. And then people recently have done this new church and worked together. Amazing. And they've seen brilliant stuff. They haven't gone, oh, this is mine, my skills, my time. They've just given and seen an amazing, amazing thing happen. Brilliant. So, Zap, I'm thinking about us. Yeah, Zap's wondering about how generous he is and whether he sees things that he could do that would be generous. Um, so let's just pause and have a think. There's going to be some questions on the screen. And the questions are, how generous am I? And when could I be generous? And then another question, how could I be generous with my time? That's something we've been looking at, isn't it? How could I be generous with my time? What could I do? What could I do with my time to help and be generous? So we're going to have a think. Some music's going to play. You have a think about those questions and then we'll come back. Hopefully you enjoyed that time just to think and to reflect and we've got a prayer now that's coming up on the screen and if you'd like to say it with me then say it out loud with me all right so here we go it's a prayer asking God to help us to be generous because I know that sometimes I struggle to be generous and so I'm going to pray this prayer and if you want to you can join in but if you don't want to then you can just sit and think about being generous here we go God, please help me to see ways that I can be generous and help me to be happy to give. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I've enjoyed it as well, Zap. Zap says he's enjoyed being here. Billy's enjoyed it. He's gone a bit sleepy again. And uh, say, yeah, bye from us. And we hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.